Just having a shift around, these are the cut flower stocks. They're growing really well. You must not let them get root bound, otherwise they'll bolt and start trying to flower in their cells and they won't grow anymore. So it's priority number one to start thinking about our stocks. These have been hardening off for about a week and a half. So I'm gonna move them around to the more exposed hardening off area and I shall get them in the ground in the next couple of days. I thought you might like a quick greenhouse update. I've had a massive tidy up. I've washed all the surfaces down, make sure there's no bugs in here. Watch out for white fly, green fly. And I've created loads of space for my potting on that I need to do still. Then out here in the hardening off area, I've cleared a space. I will show you my plant nursery in a second. So I've evicted the phlox, wrinkle cress, the last of the stocks, so many stocks. I got carried away selling those. So there's no more sowing to do. All we're gonna be doing is potting on and planting out. So these are hardening off. They're gonna be left on the top. This is very sheltered and the light is quite gentle here. But if we get bad weather, I can pot them underneath. Hopefully not, hopefully they can just stay out here just to harden up get themselves ready for the outside conditions in the paddock. So this is the plant nursery. And frankly, it looks just like a garden centre, which is the way I like it. Look at the scabious, absolutely fantastic. So these plants have all been hardened off and now are ready to go out into the garden. Well, it's not desperate because we potted everything on into 15 cell trays they've still got plenty of room so i can just relax and enjoy the process of planting out and decorating my garden with color <laughs> 